Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Tony with Reflections Detail. Um, today, I want to do a video showing the mods that we've done with the GT350, which is the shop's car. Uh, we've done a lot of little things to the car to make it pretty much uh, kind of unique. Um, so I want to share with you guys from the standpoint of what have we done for the vehicle, what mods we have added, and the things that we recommend you guys do into your vehicle because, you know, you're spending a lot of money on your car. You want to take care of it. So um, let me show you. Let me uh, do a little uh, video and see, uh, show you all the little mods, all the little extras, and what areas that I recommend is going to protect your vehicle, especially when you're spending a pretty penny. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Tony again. I'm going to show you right now. This is our GT350, which is a 2018. Uh, we've done some mods for the vehicle is more aesthetically wise, mechanical wise, not so much, but we are working on getting a whip on that motherfucker right there. So just imagine this car is a manual. Imagine with a whip on. Oh my God, this motherfucker is going to be fast as fuck. But right now, let me show you guys what we have done to the car. Um, a lot of little extra mods that makes the vehicle stand out. As you can see, it's, it's a gorgeous vehicle. I mean, it's, I'm in love with it. I mean, it's, I mean, GT350, oh my God, it's fucking badass. But let me show you guys. So first off, this car has been ceramic coated and we have uh, clear brought it also, which is a pen protection film. Uh, it protects it from getting rock chips in your, you know, in the front of the car. Highly recommend, especially when you're spending a lot of money in a vehicle. Um, now the beautiful about clear bra is that it's, it's a unique thing. So if, if an installer doesn't know what he's doing, it's the clear bra is gonna look like shit. But if you know, if you have a shop, an example like for us, uh, you're not even going to tell they has clear bra. And I'm going to show you what to look for. But, you know, right now, literally, you can't even see that it has anything as far as the front, right? That's the beauty of it. But the same token, it protects it if you want to keep the original paint. Now, if you want to wrap it, you know, depends on the wrap. Some wraps, you can use it as a... Uh, 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 clear bra kind of method you know it's going to protect the paint from chipping but in this case uh we did the right now just you know, left it as is original paint i want to protect it i don't want you know obviously for value purposes but right now uh we are going to uh, wrap it in the near, near future so stay tuned for that give me some ideas comment below what should i do but there's some cool shit that we're working on right now and as, as you guys know we are you know the fucking deep the, the kings for fucking custom wraps so stay tuned um, this is going to be a review of my GT350. So let's start. Obviously, we started with uh, our signature right there, which is the reflections detail, right? Pretty fucking badass mod, by the way. And we added the stickers in the front, you know, to showcase the Shelby uh, 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 brand name on the front. That really stands out. So you can see right there will be the GT350. Uh, now, this car, again, it's been clear bra. Now let me show you the as far as in detail clothes. So you can see, you can barely see the line. Right, but let me stay back. You can't see nothing. So it's just the end corners right here. You'll see the line, but as you move forward, there's no line whatsoever. So it just obviously in this section right here, you can't wrap it because it'll start bubbling uh, with time. So that's the reason why. But you can tell there's nothing right there whatsoever now if we go to the front you'll see a little bit towards the front and you're gonna see right there the little line you can barely see it now obviously this vehicle is fall protected from rocks you know now you're gonna see a little spot right here you can barely see it um it's not gonna get any rock chips the clear bra man it's a, it's a big changer um what else have we done to the vehicle uh many times we have mentioned about our, uh, our radar detector so you can see there's one right here this is the jammer jammer number two and jammer number three what that does is this one's gonna this is a max 360 ci pretty much is a jammer and a radar detector so as you go on the freeway you know x amount of miles per hour this one literally gives you about five to ten mile radius and pretty much, let's say you do get clocked in by a power patrol, whatever, you can jam their system. So what does that mean? In their gun, in their system, is going to read an error system or a zero system. So they won't even know how fast you're going. So obviously, they'll know that you got something going on. But at that moment, 
you can there's other options that you can release mute you push mute on the, on the system and it sends a signal back to the cop <laughs> so that's pretty you know if you want to keep it pretty stealthy that's pretty cool um i've added uh well, recently we just hit the brambles they were black so then it's not at all so we actually painted those red um at the shop um so you know they look pretty solid i mean it does stand out huge now you know comparison to before <laughs> i added this uh carbon fiber mod right here which it, it stands out it's huge um if you have a mustang or a g350 or you know any mustang so to speak i recommend you do that it does stand out quite a bit and the last one we just did recently last week is this uh i added a one inch spacer to the back man that is huge right there <laughs> i'm so glad i did it look at how it's look how much it comes out it's not too much but it's perfect just perfect now i do recommend that you don't do this and i tell you about my experience i did the same thing on the front i don't recommend it do not spend your money on the front for fucking uh, uh the spacers just do the back don't do the front because you can tell when you're driving especially 80 85 miles per hour you're gonna feel the car shake a little bit so i do not re recommend in the front so don't spend your money or waste your money so to speak for the fronts because you're gonna you're not gonna be happy and if to get your money back it's gonna be kind of hard because you, as long, when you put them in your car and they have a little bit of scratches they won't give your money back just fyi now another thing we did for the car too <coughs> we did the ducktail carbon fiber look at that isn't that a beauty that really stands out guys check out that highly recommend you get that mod if you you know if you like the look i like the look and obviously we got a reflections detail right there but you know this with the vehicle big upgrade love it too man so one more thing about the uh, radar detector system I got one in the back right there. So it's a 360 uh, system. So it's going to protect you from forward uh, uh, traffic or backwards traffic. So if you got a highway truck coming from the back, it's going to sense it. And it's going to give you a, a, a reading saying, hey, you got something in the back with a radar. Slow down, so to speak, right? <laughs> so I recommend it, guys. Um, that's my GT350 for that. I highly recommend it if you want to, you know, if you like to drive fast, stuff like that it just you know it's it's worth the money it's not cheap but it's worth the money um just so you guys know that system it's about close to five six grand depending where we live at so it's not cheap but it's worth the money again um anyways we the tail lights we put them black i mean that gives you a big look at that it's i mean i love that look it's it's uh it, you know the stealthy look kind of kind of love it so i mean that's a mod that i recommend you guys do you know for your vehicle um what else have we done to the car for this one um uh, brembos we uh tinted the lights obviously we got ceramic tint you can tell there's a quality in the tent pretty much we did the front also so it's pretty dark you know uh, i mean for me it's 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 a must so but if you live in vegas you know for sure that that's a must but i love it and now take in mind that is a ceramic ceramic tint um you can tell in the quality when it's the jeep tint or in this case a ceramic tint you can really see how dark it is it's really really dark literally look at my go inside it's dirty but you can barely see so um i do recommend it guys um as far as the front we have done clear bra in the headlights. I recommend it, guys, because these are not cheap at all. <laughs> so, you know, I if I were you, I would get it. Um, I do recommend it because if you break one of those, they're not cheap. Now, um, pretty much it, guys. Pretty for the outside, so to speak. Now, the inside, I haven't done much. Besides, I added the red uh, uh, on the manual stick. I put it the red uh, GT... Uh, GT350R system, the uh, as far as the red knob, um, it does make a big difference. I'll take a picture and show you guys. But other than that, uh, this is a small review of my GT350, which is a 2018. Um, 
it's not super fast but wait until that whipple goes in stay tuned for that uh uh um mod and i'm a, for sure i'm gonna record it and i'll put it up on youtube let me know what you guys think uh, let me know what you guys want to see a review next but this is a killer as far as a little mod and the rec what i recommend for you guys doing it uh next thing i'm gonna do is gonna be this little thing right here we're gonna make it nice and dark uh, but anyway stay tuned guys thank you for subscribing i appreciate the support i appreciate you guys following us um right now it's you know pretty much you know we're home we're quarantined nothing else to do um besides you know uh uh you know make video stuff like that for you guys and you know keeping you guys entertained but for sure i you know we appreciate your patience thank you for the comments thank you for letting us know more ideas of what to do so uh stay tuned subscribe comment and share and uh soon we're gonna have a giveaway let me know what you guys think um, I bought a lot of Jordans back in the day and uh, I've never used them. So if you guys think that should be a cool giveaways, let me know. I'm more, more than happy to do so. Late. Thank you.